Hello, everybody. Nice to have you here. Uh, as Alan mentioned, we are talking about the uh, OpenQM project today and how, uh, open how uh, one can manage different types of virtualization with uh, the OpenQM server. Uh, first, my name is Matt Reschenberg. I'm the project manager of OpenQM. Um, currently working as a freelancer. And uh, yeah, let's come to the agenda. First, uh, I would like to give you a small overview of what OpenQRM is. Just a question, how many people or who does already know OpenQRM? Uh, not very many, so <laughs> we will have to uh, make this uh, overview in any case. Uh, then we talk about a bit uh, about virtualization in general, different types of virtualization, uh, what's the best to choose for which application, for example. Um, then in uh, how OpenQRM deals especially with different types of virtualization uh, by the help of a virtualization layer inside the server. Uh, the storage implementation, storage integration uh, for especially for virtual, uh, virtualized machines and details of, uh, about the uh, different available OpenQRM virtualization plugins. And of course there will be time for, quest uh, for questions and a discussion. So first, what, what goal we want to solve with OpenQRM? Um, a typical situation data center, we found out that uh, there are normally many different islands uh, with special installations, uh, different utility loosely connected tools to monitor and manage those uh, uh, data centers, different SLAs for each island, f many or not just one system administrator, but many. And um, all this we want to try to, s to cover uh, with OpenQM by uh, having um, um, a monitoring and deployment server which uh, is implemented in a pluggable way so that uh, we can add features and functionalities on the fly by additional plugins. So we try to keep the base server very small. And in every data center we come in, uh, we uh, notice that the system administrator may have special tools which he don't want to lose and he still continue with it. So he can simply integrate these special tools into OpenQRM by a plugin uh, and uh, get a single management console for the whole data center. So this is the goal. Uh, in general, we try to reach this goal by uh, separating uh, the different modules in the, da in the data center, like storage, like the, the physical hardware, uh, the network, and then abstract all those services through uh, virtual environments. This is a term we, uh, we use for uh, your service you want to deploy. It can be a web server, database server, application server, whatever server. And with this virtual environments, we can configure how OpenQM should run this service. That means uh, how many, uh, what, what are the hardware requirements for the service? Uh, should it be clustered? Does it need to be high available? And so on. All these parameters are going into the virtual environment configuration. And then those virtual environments can be stopped and started uh, with a single mouse click. I'm coming uh, to the special virtualization thing very soon, but uh, just to give you an overview about what OpenQRM is and how it is doing things. Um, yeah. In general, the uh, OpenQRM uses network booting uh, for uh, getting the most flexibility uh, out of the uh, data center, so it can uh, rapidly provision and deploy uh, server images to physical hardware. Okay, short about the project history. OpenQRM is uh, derived from a commercial project, uh, was called QRM, and it uh, was open sourced in the beginning of two 2006. We're an active project at uh, SourceForge, and development is now being taken over by the community. So let's talk a bit, before we go into details, how OpenQRM manage virtual machines, uh, let's, come, uh, let's go a bit over uh, virtualization in general. We have basically three types of virtualization 
uh, currently available. This is full virtualization. We can run unmodified guest systems with a bit more overhead. We have this power virtualization, uh, like, um, which needs a modified guest system, but it has much better performance. And we have a very light virtualization types, like Solaris Zone for Linux vServer, which are doing virtualization of uh, the, uh, which are doing the virtualization on a, uh, based on isolation. It means uh, it's a single kernel virtualization model, which just separates the uh, virtual machines by, for example, another process stack. Um, in general, uh, the sys administrators should select the type of virtualization uh, which fits best to the service they want to deploy. For example, when it comes to Oracle, we, we heard the Oracle VM talk tomorrow, uh, people will choose Oracle VM or VMware or something like that. When it comes to web hosting companies which uh, are just need to bring up like a masses of uh, uh, virtual web servers for uh, renting to their customers, uh, system administrators should uh, better choose a, a light virtualization type or the parallel virtualization type to uh, reduce the performance overhead. So why I'm talking about this? When we are in a phase or in a situation as a system administrator where we need to select which kind of virtualization type I, uh, we, should, we want to use, we always have to look at the application and depend on that. We may need to choose several and not just pick one and go with it because for some application this may be uh, not very useful. So we end up basically in uh, the need to support different operation, uh, different virtualization types in uh, in the data center, depending on what services we want to we want to deploy or provision to our users. We all also know that uh, those different virtualization technologies we we see nowadays are uh, kind of very different to each other. Uh, most of them have different uh, disk images types or. Uh, uh, configura configuration files uh, which are not generic from uh, one type to another. So um, with this problem, this problem can be solved easily with OpenQM because it uh, provides a generic virtualization layer on top of the different virtualization types. This is based, this is uh, implemented within the server. Um, here we more or less have uh, everything. Um, what we see right now with the current type of the virtualization is that we are moving into a direction of uh, appliance-based deployment. That means uh, operation systems are not being really installed very often from the scratch, but image images are being taken from either existing servers or uh, provided by some virtualization uh, um, vendor. You just download an image, a uh, big file, and you put it into your virtuali virtualization technology and just start it. So um, we, with OpenQM, we are going exactly this way for, uh, to an appliance-based deployment for uh, virtual machi machines uh, and also for physical machines in the same way. So that's why we uh, implemented a virtualization layer which conforms different virtualization types. And uh, the differences between the uh, virtualization technologies are then implemented by smaller plugins. That means for each common virtualization type like VMware, Xen, QEMU, or Linux vServer, we have a uh, plugin for OpenQRM which uh, 